No, I would not sit there and ridicule a best friend because it's... How are we ridiculing him? Because he thought you and Ben were his best mates and you laughed at him. You do not laugh at a best mate on the real world. On tonight's Big Brother, all the fallout from last Friday's spa session which exploded into the biggest confrontation the house has seen. In a game of truth and dare, Nobby dared Travis to name the housemate he liked the least. The original housemates, who is your least favourite? And why? Initially, I wouldn't have said this person. Travis named Alice. Alice cried. That's why I'm sad as well. Travis cried. Friends don't do that, man. And fingers were pointed at the combi boys, Rory, Nobby and Ben. Yeah. I didn't expect that to happen, yeah. honestly. They set the whole conflict in motion days earlier during this casual chat with Alice. Do you have anyone you don't like in here, Alice? No, there are people here like, I'm not going to catch up with. But when they report her words to Travis, the story has changed. She said the person she hates the most is Travis. You're her most hated housemate. I'm glad you told me. Well, you're one of the boys. Mm. And now Travis is wishing he wasn't one of the boys. I'll have a chat to Nobby tomorrow because that was just a really low thing to do. It's the morning after the spa fight, and it's still weighing heavily on Travis's mind. Morning, big brother. How are you feeling this morning? In terms of emotional feeling, I'm feeling a lot better as well than what I was feeling last night. Still very disappointed and um, frustrated with Nobby, to say the least. Um, for someone who was quite a good friend previously, um, I feel that what he did last night was a slimy thing to do and a, um, not something that a friend should ever do to another friend. Yeah, Al, Al handled the situation really well. Um, she's not confrontational. She's probably even less confrontational than what I am and I would have said to Novi last night, you know, back off. <laughs> I felt like, I definitely felt it was peer pressure. Yeah. Not on your behalf, not necessarily on your behalf, but definitely on, on, um, yeah, Nobby's behalf, but I'll have to chat to him about that. Um, I'm not sure which one of us said that Alice hated you. Yeah. But, um, that is a gross exaggeration and she's never said that she hates you. This is Big Brother, Nobby to the diary room. As the instigator of last night's drama with Travis, Nobby is called to the house diary room to explain his actions. Ugh. I'm obviously aware of peer pressure, but I never thought that I would actually say, tell someone that, who I quite like that I don't like them because I'm scared of what would have happened after, yeah. you know? Um, and I could say that you were going to, there was going to, like, there would have been questioning in the van later yeah. that night, so there's so, obviously pressure on you. Yeah. yeah. Nobby. Big brother. In the light of last night's drama in the spa, Big Brother would like to ask you what you think of the Combi Boys' recent treatment of Travis. I didn't believe it was going to blow up as much as it did last night, nor did I actually think he was going to say Alice or anything like that. If you ever feel uncomfortable with the way we are treating you, um, the things we are saying to you, mm. or the situations we are putting you in, or anything I do to that may upset you, just let me know. Just, just, just bring it. Like, I know mm. you're not confrontational, but no. Well, that's the thing that it taught me last night. Like, may, like, and look, I am looking at it in quite a, a pessimistic way, in as much as it did teach me a lot about relationships, and I shouldn't have put so much trust as I did in Nobby. Like, I shouldn't have trusted him as much as I did. Do you regret asking that question now? I don't regret asking that question. Um, Obviously, I know that he has trouble answering such questions, but I won't be asking him, put, putting him on the spot like that ever again, since he was actually distraught. But um, it is, it's not my responsibility that a 20-year-old adult 
was mentally incapable of um, answering that question without blowing up like that. Um, he's only six months different to me. I don't think it was bullying at all. I'm really, really annoyed at him. Like, I, I don't want to minimise the fact that I'm just upset with him. It's not that at all. But I'm really, really annoyed with him. OK. Um, but, and, but you're aware that Alice never said she hated you? Yeah. Oh, after, after chatting to Al last night, it just makes me um, distrust what he says even more. OK. Does it concern you that your question made your friend cry? Of course, the last thing I want to see is my friend, like Travis especially, um, who is very innocent, to be distraught. And I have... I, I'm not happy at all. That It's not as if I went out on a mission to make Travis cry or anything like that. Do you think you're taking advantage of his good nature? I don't think it's taking advantage at all. Um, what advantage do I get out of that at all? <coughs> hey, babe. Hi, Rob. Well, maybe, maybe Nobby is taking advantage of our relationship. OK. You know? Did you get your ass kicked? Nope. Do you think we put, I put that question up to, so you think you say, Alice, I didn't. Mm. I didn't think you'd blow up or be destroyed. Like I'll let you, watch. you know that I just put you... I knew, I knew that that question would have put you on the spot. You know mm. what I mean? Because you do feel uncomfortable with that sort of question. Mm. And that is the part of the game we were playing, truth or dare. Yeah. I, and I didn't expect you to say Alice either, because... I remember. You didn't expect me to say Alice, uh, you not me, please. You came up to us and said, I still feel as though I'm very close to Alice, mm. so why would I expect you to say Alice? The what? whole situation in the combi, not no, last night... That's my night. question, Travis. Well, yeah, give me a second and I will answer your question. Right. OK, you put me in a situation last night yep. to test whether I would be um, loyal to you and... To me, that was like peer pressure okay. in its purest oh, form. Can I tell you something? Oh, One second, I'm not oh. done. Just because I knew mm -hmm. that you, if I didn't say Al mm -hmm. last night, mm -hmm. I would have been in that combi straight after, mm -hmm. and you would have been like, why didn't you say Al? Oh. Rah, 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 rah. Oh. And Benny and Rory both agree with me that I would have been drilled after the spa party last night. Oh. Do, you, do you want to go in, in the combi now just so oh. Al doesn't That's get upset? I'm I've already talked to anyway. upset again. Hey, Trey. How are you going, buddy? Good morning. Good morning, Bridgie. Coming up, Nobby gets a reality check. But you and Rory and Ben know that Travis is being picked on. Stop it. You're saying that that wasn't your intent, but that's how I felt it was. Nobby and Travis are trying to mend their friendship after last night's spa dramas, but the he said, she said discussion threatens to start arguments once again. The fact that I spoke to Al mm -hmm. after and she said that she told me that, you know, you were going to tell her the two people that... Um, I wasn't going to tell her. I just said, said it was just me and then there were other people as well, but I'm not going to dob them in. Mm. Well, Al, Al said that... You didn't. You said her, to her that you weren't one of the one of the two. What are you talking about? I went to Alan and said I was one of the two. And I'm not going to dob anyone else in, but blah 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 blah. Mm. That's what I said. What, what are you talking about? Uh, when Al and I were both bawling our eyes out, you told her that you weren't one. Okay, of them. I'll get Al. No, we don't need to bring Al into Al? this. Well, you're saying that. This and this is okay. between well, you and I. I, I'd like to get... I know, but can I just reinforce this bit that I said it was... And I don't understand where she's coming from. Did you tell Travis last night, right, that I wasn't one of the people that told, came, that told Travis what you said? I specifically said, uh, do you want to know who said it? And you said, no, no. And I said, like, listen, it's on me. I'm like, oh, I was one of them, but I wasn't the one that reinforced it to start. But I did say it was me. Did I not? No, I don't think you did. I think I did. Yeah. Did I say that? Yeah, you did. Exactly. So I don't know what you're trying to do to me. I'll like... 
I said that specifically. Why would I bring it up otherwise? No, and we, now you're telling him otherwise. What, just because he agrees with you, I, that's what I'm saying. I don't think you said that. I said, I really don't want to know, Nobby. It's up to Travi and me to talk about it. It's got nothing to do with, you know, you and all that sort of stuff. And I go, I don't want to know the people because if they can't even say it in a sparring Yeah, that's, like, why, that's, that's why, that's why I, I said then, it. And he and said then, it was me as well. Yeah, I said I was there too. Yeah, you, you and both he was, said it. He was no, you, there. you didn't. I don't I'd think said you did. It. Ask okay, your brother. I'm not well, trying... go back then. And what I don't don't appreciate... say what, are, what am I trying to do here. Well, I don't, well, like, that, what does it seem feel... like to me? Like if you're telling him otherwise, you know, I don't care. I There's obviously you, stuff going on behind everyone's back. I told you I was on the feet. I, well, I, I was don't on think you did. Well, okay? then and ask Big Brother, and you can ask Big Brother too. And then just hearing that from him really pisses me off. That like, I don't know what you're trying to do at all. I'm not trying to do anything. Well, then why would you say that for? Because I did say that, and Rory knows I said that. I don't know what you're trying to all think or who you, what sort of person you think I am. It's not like you know. that. I'm do you want us to, you want us to tell you what sort of person we think or I think you are? Sure. I think I've said from the start you're very nice to me. We are friends, all right? And I'll see you on the outside, right? But I believe that you sugarcoat a lot and you are very strategic in some things you say and to an extent you're playing the game. So it's just my thought. Huh? Yeah. And I'll say it. If can, you ask I, me to... can I just ask you to give? It would be right. very uncharacteristic if I would have changed that much to have motives behind things I do. Okay. You know. Um, I'll take that on board. Al. Yeah, it would. All right. You know, some I haven't changed in here more than 25 years. All right. That's fine. You obviously now probably look at any situation and question motives you know um well alice um this was this wasn't just recently i just i've thought this because you, i feel as though you are very cautious in what you say to different people so that's just how i felt and the fact that you're telling this now is and that i do believe you mean it what you're saying right but i'm just letting you know it was just from early on After another round of arguments over the Travis incident, an apparently unrepentant Nobby has been called into the diary room once again. Nobby. Big Brother. This morning, Big Brother spoke to you, Rory and Ben, about Travis. Yes, he did. Who you all say you regard as a friend. Yes. Rory and Ben expressed some regret about last night's incident. Yes. Big Brother has called you back in because of the three of you you appear to have the least remorse about the events that unfolded. OK. Can I explain myself? Why? Nobby, please listen carefully yep. and understand what is being said. All right. Nobby, over the past two weeks, Travis has been the target of three specific incidents that have been very uncomfortable for him. Right. First, he was given an absurd haircut that opened him up to ridicule. As Travis always does, he took it in good humour. Right. Big Brother can't imagine any other housemate, including yourself, having the same reaction to such demeaning treatment. Next, Travis was sitting in the privacy of the toilet when you forced the door and Ben, with you and Rory cheering him on, squirted him in the face with shower gel. The result of that prank could have been very serious. Then came last night's incident, when Travis was reduced to tears. Yep. The reason this happened was because you, Rory and Ben, lied to your friend Travis. You told him Alice hated him, and then asked him, during Truth or Dare, who he liked the least in the house. Travis said that because of what you had told him, he disliked Alice the most. Nobby, do you understand the phrase cumulative effect. Yes. Travis has now been subject to three unpleasant incidents, yep. one of which left him in hospital. Yep. No other male in the house has had the same treatment. All right. Nobby, earlier you used the word bullying. Yep. Bullying is not allowed in the Big Brother house. Okay. There's a line and you have gone very close to crossing it. All right. Big Brother would advise you to think very carefully about going near it again. All right. Nobby, say what you like, but you and Rory and Ben and all of the rest of the house know that Travis is being picked on. Stop it. OK. And 
Yeah. Yeah. It's just. Yeah. It's. That's. I know. I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm. I know what I'm. Right. Really, really like last night. I was. I know. I know. That's disappointed. fine. That's fine. And um, like I don't. I don't want it to That's be okay. different. But I just feel That's different. That's fine, Travis. Like I'm. Like I said, um, it's your choice. You know yeah. What I mean? And I don't. And don't think I'm gonna be bitter about it or anything. No. And I'm. I'm not bitter either. Like because. Right. I do still want to be quite good friends. It's just, like, I feel that's really, fine. like... That's fine. Mad. Like, I can't believe that that situation came up. That's you know? all right, man. And at the end of the day, we were mature enough to, to talk about it this morning. Yeah. And we didn't go around like other people in the house and not yeah. talk to each other that's for five true. days. Because we are quite close. That's fine. But like, like you said before, if you feel that way, then, you know, that's fine with me. You know mm. what I mean? That's... That's your choice. Really that's, mm. like, that's your choice, but just remember that I have no yeah. difference. That's all I think. Mm. All right? Mm. After the break, life with Terence is too much for some. I'll have my lunch in here with Nob. Plenty of people try and change people. I married my mother-in-law. Terence is never short of a story or life experience, and it's starting to annoy his fellow housemates. Oh, Terence, man. He's good. What's it? You know how, like, if we're caught in conversation, right, and we want to get out... Oh, SOS. So what's an SOS call can be? What about um, S oh. this one? No, yeah. just, oh, yeah, just do this, just yeah, do that. you're doing this. I ain't talking about it for a second. Yeah, so, sorry, Terence. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be yeah. back. <laughs> just, yeah, all right, this is all a call. Right. All right, this is an SOS call. These, all right. And okay. then what's the go? Like, the other person goes in and joins the combo or pulls... No, it pulls them away. Pulls because then usually Terence is left by himself. Then he goes into another <laughs> person and starts a conversation. <laughs> no! <laughs> you're getting um, caught in the Venus flight trap. Go on. And then I was like, 1971. That was a wonderful year. West Perth from the grand final. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. There you go. You go all right. That's right, mate. No problems, Cobber. No mm -hmm. problems. Thank Do you. it down the pub any day. Should we let him in on the SOS call? Who? Mm. What's the SOS call? Oh. <laughs> Terence. Yeah. If we want, need to get saved by Terence's conversation, <laughs> Travis, if you see me going like this and listening, mm -hmm. get me out of there. <laughs> <laughs> you are up. Okay. Alright. <laughs> okay. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, either, either that or you'll see his ears bleeding. <laughs> oh, and, crying on <laughs> and you know we'd not be anyway. Like he's like, man, I really don't want to talk about <laughs> <laughs> Milo's not bad for what we had him. Terence. Oh, he he's an old bloke. Just ask him, he'll tell you a joke. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next bit? We tell him. All right, maybe. Uh, do not do despair. Not despair. <laughs> maybe I should do the dishes soon. Here you go, we tell him. <laughs> we we love out. him. Do not despair. <laughs> even <laughs> though. <laughs> yes! <laughs> there you go. Well, that's, that'll, that'll fix it. Bop, 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 shoo, one, one, and bop. Bop, 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 she wanna want it, bop, 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 she wanna want it, bop. I like it. I have to sing this. I'll be back in a second, right. I'll just take this out. All time, yeah, right. All time. <coughs> Part time. <laughs> no, I'm doing, I was gonna open it for you. What did you say? All right, I'm going to tell you something, yeah. If I am dragged in a conversation, right, with Terran, and I start going like this, get yeah, me yeah. out of there. <laughs> he was singing that song on repeat, I actually didn't and I was to go in that door and smash my door with my head in the door like it's actually, this. I was going bro, It's actually not bad, this song. Was right? the banger coming from here? It's, huh? it's hard to listen to many, many, many times, but if you hear, hear it once, just get him to sing it once. Yeah, no, no, don't, don't. He'll perform Can it for you. Can you tell me then what it is? It's like... Yes, yes. It's about three intruders. Yes, yes, Terrence. Yeah. If you want to tell him a joke, <laughs> it's something that just goes on like that. Terrence. Flick, flick. 
He's an old bloke. Flick. 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 Just tell him a no. Flick. He'll just Flick. ask him. Flick. Flick. He'll give you a joke. Flick. See, Flick. Ben and I can do the behind the background. Mm -hmm. And you can go by the flick flick. Okay. Uh, you know, you get the rhythm. You ready for this, uh, Benny? Okay. Yeah, I'm ready for this. Next, Big Brother Airways takes off for a secret destination. Passengers, your flight will be departing shortly. Sit back and relax and enjoy. To vote to evict this week's nominated housemates, dial 1902 555 and then for Terry at 67, for Bianca at 64, for Bridget at 61, for Renee at 63, or text their name to 191010. The long votes cost 55 cents max. 190 votes from Mobiles Extra. Lines close at 7.45 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time tonight. For terms and conditions, go to bigbrother.com.au. Losing housemates. Celebrate your champion. The Friday night games have just finished and there's an extra surprise for this week's winner, Nobby. Nobby. Yep. Big Brother also promised you a mystery prize. Cool. To your left are four tickets and business class travel packs. Yep. To fly on Big Brother Airlines mm -hmm. to a mystery location. Yep. As the winner of the Friday Night Games, mm -hmm. you may choose three housemates to accompany you. Yep. Nobby, which three housemates will be flying out of the house with you tonight? Ben, Rory, and Bianca. Are you guys pumped? You have you've, you've never been to Bali. Have you been to Bali? Last time housemates went on a mystery flight, they were sent on a luxury holiday to Bali. Tonight, Big Brother is keeping their destination a secret. I feel like I should give it to someone else, do you know what I mean? What? What? The, you've the been? trip? Why? What? I've already been and there are heaps of people haven't, you know. But I appreciate Nobby doing it, man. You don't be ungrateful? No, I'm grateful. It's just... I don't know. You're just going to be lost without your missus for two days. Ah, oh, come on. Be <laughs> you'd be on the <laughs> creek if he left Benny and you went. Oh, yeah. Benny boy. Huh? Benny, Benny, Benny boy. That's He's so cocky. Who? Isn't he? Rory. Yeah, I know. What makes him... I don't know what makes him think he's a gun. I know. He must get heaps of girls back and went for some strange reason. Maybe in Geelong everyone's like butt ugly. <laughs> you don't look excited, Mummy. We can go on a holiday. Yeah, I don't really get that excited ever. For this week's task, housemates must ignore the obvious, but they haven't been doing a very good job. Oh, yeah! How cool! Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> That's sick. How cool was this that? This is awesome. Oh, hey, hey what's going on? It's Mini Melbourne. Going Mini Crack Casino. Oh, 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 yeah, that's 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 Thank you, Big Brother. Yeah, thank you, Big Brother. I, I I that was so cool. This is Big Brother. Travellers, it's <laughs> time to board the plane. Bye. Yes. Walk guys. through the cloudy Bye. door Bye. now. See you guys. Bye. See you guys. <laughs> Dude, we're gonna be this for like just, eight hours or something, man. Let's just crash when we get there. Yeah. This <laughs> is Captain Big Brother. <laughs> Hello, Captain. Passengers, your flight will be departing shortly. Sit back and relax and enjoy.
Yeah. That is all. Thank you. Yeah. I really want to know. I want to know if barley is barley. Yeah, yeah. or like Japan or something. Yeah, I reckon they changed the thing. Sorry, right, shall do. I'm gonna do it. There's not enough room. Just go for it. What's the meal? Uh, that's better than what we got. What do we got? Oh, we're gonna be the Italy or something. Because when we were in here, we got like rice and um, oh. like curry. And when we got there, it was barley. Italy would be sick. Italy would be awesome and so perfect for me. Oh, those hearts are so good. I had not Are they? Rory oh. left it in my locker. <laughs> oh, no. oh my god, Rihanna! <laughs> what oh, a did freak! He? <laughs> See what he's like. Oh, what a sweetheart. That was cute. That's so funny. <laughs> Were you flooded? Sorry? Were you flooded? Extremely. You're you're attracted to Rory though, aren't you? Yeah, I think it's cute. I'm a really affectionate guy and like um I've noticed. Yeah, well I am. That's and good. I like companionship, I like you know all that stuff. But then I went through a few years where I just didn't want any, I didn't want a girlfriend. And I still don't want a girlfriend unless I can see myself being with them for, forever. I, I won't commit to anyone unless I can see myself, you know, 50 years down, or whatever it was, 50, you know, 45, 50 years down the track, old wrinkly house with grandkids running around. You know what I don't have that you guys have? Friends. Um, yeah, besides that. <laughs> Compassion. Mm. You guys are very warm hearted. But dude, I reckon. I'm not warm hearted. Seriously. I'm warm as a person, like talking to people and accepting them, but like, I rarely feel sorry. Running the gauntlet has been a popular way to kill time in the Big Brother house. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 That's it. No more girls no for him. Goblin. Wait, this is he wrong. He did it. He did do it. Good job. Good job. That's a good job. Coming up, Nobby oh. takes three friends on a dirty holiday. <laughs> what? No, seriously, every time. <laughs> Dude, why does my life suck so much? Actually, gonna get violent, big brother. Like seriously. Stupid. Nobby, Bianca, Rory, and Ben have been on their mystery flight for over nine hours, and it's been a long, uncomfortable journey. Imagine if this is like the deformed prize, though, that like you get to choose four unlucky people who just get to be stuck with each other oh. in here for like a yeah, day. Imagine if I'm not gonna tell people when you're back. This is another dupe that Nobby gets. Ollie, the seeing eye dog, was taken out of the house for the Friday night games. This morning he's back, but not for long. Oh. Oh, Ollie. Alice, Ollie has returned to the house for a short time to say goodbye for the last time. It is also Ollie's 12 week. Birthday. Oh. Well, we happy birthday. You'll do good, no one. You'll do good. At least we're landing, guys. Like, that was the worst, like, thing I've ever had in the world. Sure. In my life. Yeah. They don't know it yet, but their holiday is about to get much worse. After a 10-hour flight, their destination is the city dump. Passengers, welcome to your destination. Thank you for flying Big Brother Airlines. We trust you had a pleasant flight. Yeah, yeah, cool. And we hope you have a fantastic holiday. Thank you. Yay! Yep. Despite Nobby thinking otherwise, the dump flight could have been won by anyone. No, no, seriously. Like, <laughs> no. What oh. the hell, man? Oh. Why, why 
What? Why? Why do I have to get shafted every time? Me too. Why? Seriously, every time. <laughs> Dude, why does my life suck so much? I was looking forward to this so much. I actually hate no, my no, life. No, every time I'm actually sick of this. Why can't I get something good for once? Housemates, welcome to the dump. Enjoy your stay. Hey, no, hey, I, I just want to say, Dobby, thanks for bringing me. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? Welcome to the end of the world. <laughs> this is bullcrap, like. Like, no. <laughs> what? Why, how can this be a reward for, I mean, I win a dollar, then I win this camping stuff. <laughs> I would actually cry if I had the energy. Man, this is gonna do my head in. We're gonna be here for like two. We're gonna be here for like two days now. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ollie. Happy birthday to you. We are from the dump. We are from the dump. Housemates, it's time to say goodbye to Ollie. No, Ollie, wake up. But to gather all of Ollie's toys, all the picnic goods. And bring Ollie to the diary room together. Together. Bye, Ollie. You sad, you are, aren't you? Yeah. Ollie, this stay. Is Ollie. Stay. 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 See ya. Bye. He's sad. He can tell. Big brother, how is this a reward for winning Friday Night Live? You send us somewhere that's like the end of the world and just smells like turd and it looks like as if it's cockroach and rat infested. This is like a kick in the teeth now. What do you mean? Well, the first time I won Friday Night Live, I get nothing. And like, uh, you say I get $20,000, I get $20,000 Zimbabwe dollars. Then I win this time. And all I get is this stupid dump of a joint, like, it smells and it's all dirty and it's full of rubbish. My skin's starting to itch as well. Is there anything else? <sighs> oh! Observations from Bridget. Your head's too shaped like a rock melon. Oh, thanks, Bridget. Bridget, that was a show. Barley. Oh, it's yeah, Oh, no, we could get told we failed the task. Housemates. Yeah. To pass this week's yeah. task, <laughs> the rules were simple. All you had to do was ignore the obvious. Oi, man, what the oi, oh. Is something funny? Nah, uh, nothing out of the normal.
ignore that. Ollie looks very happy to see you. Richard! 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 Big Brother's rules were obviously <laughs> ignored. Housemates, in this week's task, you have failed miserably. <laughs> oh, God, that's a surprise, isn't it, everybody? <laughs> Big Brother hopes you have better luck next week. Oh, that is all. Thanks, Big Brother. Thanks, Big Brother. <laughs> Jerry, are you going to be too cool to talk to all of us housemates when you get out? Outside? <laughs> no, why would I do that? Oh, I feel bad even looking at him like, I feel like a hussy, right? Because since I got in here, like, I was with a guy the night before I came into lockdown. <laughs> like, then I came in here two weeks into being in here, fully being in love with someone before I came in here, then having a crush on someone in the house, and now I'm already perfect on somebody else. Right, right, the fellas. So you thought Nobby was alright when you first came in? No, I'm, we were not, well, I'm not into Asians, but Nobby has an amazing body. Mm. That hot body. Um, and obviously his beautiful skin, which he moisturises quite a lot. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think Ben now, out of all of them, is more my type, like, kind of have... Well, he liked the same kind of music that I did a while ago when, you know, I've been to Perth, at least. Travis? Travis is Travis. He's so skinny. <laughs> and hairy. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> I, everyone knows what I think of Roy. He's cute. Dang, um, I don't like how he puffs out his chest. <laughs> He can so see me. He catches me all the time. I'm <laughs> like, why do you have to look at the same time as me? Hey, Jan. This is Evicto. I have seen you in the hot seat. You are hot seat legend. Evicto. I am invincible. You have disrespected my father. <laughs> <laughs> you killed my brother. <laughs> You do not disrespect my poodle sandal. You know our religion forbids those sandals. <laughs> <laughs> Join us in Unite! Two. Unite! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Terry, I'm not sure if this style suits you. No, I don't think it will either. I just looked at myself in the mirror and thought it's too high. I flatten it down a bit. Your head's too shaped like a rock melon. Oh, thanks, Bridget. We love to insult each other. I Bridget like and I. rock melons. You guys she like likes rock melons. <laughs> Bridget, how's your day been today? Um, sad and boring. Why? Because we have to give Ollie back. I think he was one of my top three housemates. Now that Ollie has gone, who has moved in to fill your top three housemates? Oh, it feels like there's a mum in here with Terry, but it's nice to have someone looking out for you. I honestly don't have anything I regret that I've done in here. But one thing I think I've learned is um, probably be about Travis because I really do care for that kid, right? I, he's got such a kind heart and he's such a fun guy and always optimistic, you know what I mean? Well, he is a lot more complex than what he actually is, you know what I mean? He might come off thick skin, but especially um, after last, what happened a couple of nights ago in the spa, I think I've learned more about him and I think what happened that night, I do regret. And I think I have to learn a bit more regarding like how others might act and actually like actually get hurt over and I do feel bad how Travis got that distraught and I did not want that to happen to him at all because I do care for him. Do we have more marshmallows? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're over here. There's three there. You guys have a... You guys go for it. Do you get the feeling, this might, you don't have to answer this question, yeah. but that if I was to not go tomorrow, nobody would be like, oh, do you think he wants me to go tomorrow? 
Honestly, I don't know. Mm, because the more I sort of try and put myself in his head, the more twisted I'm getting. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll see you tomorrow night, hey, Renners? <laughs> this is Big Brother. Housemates, your stay at the dump is coming to an end. It's time to pack your bags and get ready for your departing flight home. Housemates, your return flight leaves in 60 seconds. Oh, what? What? I'm packed. This is your Captain Big Brother speaking. Thank you for choosing Big Brother Airlines. Choose you. We trust you had a pleasant holiday at the dump. Yes. Our yes. return flight to the Gold Coast may be a little shorter today. Air traffic control advises us there is a strong tailwind, meaning we should arrive a little earlier. Now fasten your seatbelts and prepare for takeoff. On behalf of us all here at Big Brother Airlines, we wish you a pleasant flight. Look like one of those people who fly those planes back in the old days with those hats and the goggles. Look, look, look at me. Oh, look at my hat. <laughs> look, look, look at what I'm wearing. <laughs> my four day old undies. <laughs> oh, it's five now. Yeah, it's five. Yeah. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I dated this when I was still waking your undies. No, I'm not wearing the same undies for a week. Oh, guys, that was the dump, our holiday. That was cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. that was good. Cool. <laughs> Alice and Renee have decided to make the most of Nobby's sleeping bags and camp outside for the night. Everyone's still asleep. Told you. Who's camping outside? Why is my oh, stuff home out sweet there? home. Why is it? What's going on? Who's looking at Sarah? Yeah, it's Al. Al and Renee. That's weird. Oh, well, it looks like I can't go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> They're back! Yay! Oh, oh hey, guys! What's with the hats? We live hey, in the troops! <laughs> hey? You look like... <laughs> she looks like bloody Biggles, a pilot. It was literally a... Rubbish it was like, like a rubbish pile. <laughs> we slept in a tip. Welcome back to the <laughs> So, <laughs> was there a pool? No, it was like oh, a... It was filled with dirt and muck and, dirty. like, TVs and oh, bikes. Oh, yeah, we went, <laughs> went to a dump. <laughs> we walk in and it's just, like, washing machines and bikes and TVs and... <laughs> 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 Don't go anywhere. Coming up next, another Big Brother live eviction. Want more Big Brother? You can watch 24-7 on bigbrother.com.au or on your three mobile.